Hey, I'll see you on tour in Las Vegas, Chicago, and Grand Rapids in Chicago. It's stand-up and a live panel show. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets, and make sure you go to JimmyDoor.com. I think the real villain here is uh, Joe Biden's family, specifically his wife. I think she's showing how evil and how uh, empty um, she is and how personally uh, selfish she is because she's been seeing Joe Biden fall down on his face uh, verbally and physically for at least the last four years. So, again, everybody knew Joe Biden was demented in 2020. We've been calling him a walking demented death rattle since 2020, and we've been, of course, proven right. And uh, so she sees it even more than we see it. And here she is after the debate uh, talking to him like he's three years old. What, what, and it, if she thought this was going to help, they thought that's how they, they are. And they're super dumb. So I, I honestly think that Jill Biden is evil. I know Joe Biden's evil. I know what because what he did to black and brown people, uh, what the the crime bill, all uh, of Ukraine, all of Ukraine, <laughs> right? Funding a genocide, uh, the Israel uh, cru- thing, it wasn't so good. Uh, cru- crushing a railroad union strike, uh, so lockdowns, mandates. COVID. I mean, that's that's Rockefeller shit that he did, right? So here he is. Uh, so she's. I, I'm going to just say, I think Jill Biden's evil. She's evil. Uh, but guess what? There's nobody deserves a more uh, an evil wife more than Joe Biden, and his son is also evil. But here we here we go. Watch this. Joe, you did such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all the. So somebody's getting a happy meal. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Joe, you answered every question. Hey, that's great. You know this was a presidential debate, not a trivia contest, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he answered every question, Kurt. Wow. I can see answering one or two, but every question? <laughs> I'd be exhausted. This guy's got to have a lot of energy. Yeah. He did a great job answering those questions. Hey, you know what no one should be proud of? That crowd cheering this horse shit. <laughs> Jesus. Do they have to put peanut butter on the microphone to get Joe to go over there and look like he's talking? <laughs> Here we go. Joe, you did such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all I the did. You know, and every infant is proud of their very first accomplishment, which is a load of shit in their diaper. You know that. <laughs> yeah. uh, Jill Biden's been studying with the, the dog whisperer, Caesar. <laughs> That's what it looks like. To, to reward Joe when he gets something right. That's what this looks like. You can't just scold him by rubbing his face in the pee stain on the rug. He doesn't understand why it's wrong. Right. It's about dominance. And it gives him an erection. (laughs) 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 So let's listen to the rest of this. Joe, you did such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all the And let me ask the crowd, what did Trump do? So that that's their game to call Trump a liar while they're in the middle of the biggest lie ever told in presidential politics, and that lie is that Joe Biden is not demented. FDR's leg, uh, legs Le- work better than his head. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> By a lot. Put a that, blanket on his. That head. was a smaller lie. <laughs> Put an FDR blanket that, the on fact, his head. That, yes. <laughs> That was a smaller lie than the lie they're telling. That's the irony here. They're 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 saying that Joe Trump is a lie. He lied. First of all, Joe Biden lied so hard during that debate. He said at one point that um, the border patrol agreed with him and his policies, which led the border patrol during the debate yeah. to put out a statement saying, "No, we don't." Yeah. Well, you saw how he answered that uh, illegal immigrant murder thing. It wasn't good. That was an abortion question. I thought. I don't even know where it began. He said they're all being they're being raped by their brothers and their sisters and uncles. You saw it's that, ridiculous. right? Ridiculous. Because ridiculous. Is it is, is it ridiculous? ridiculous? <laughs> I don't even know what I'll be honest, besides Trump going, I don't know what he just said, I'm having a hard time remembering anything Trump said because too busy looking at Joe making yes. moron face. Nobody's playing anything uh, nobody's playing videos of stuff Trump said. Nobody. Dude, Trump could have just like I don't he <laughs> He could have killed someone in the middle of the street, and I wouldn't have noticed. Yes, like he said back in 2016. This is my. This is what I think. <laughs> Somebody put this out. <laughs> oh. Come on, Joe, keep going. 
<laughs> hey, boy, I can't wait till she just like scoops him out and wears him as a suit. She's she's the evil person in this right now. You know, uh, he stole her from his former friend. Oh, that was his ex oh. best friend's wife. At, at, so did you see that? There's a guy came out yeah. now. But that guy feels great about the he, whole situation. Yeah, uh, yeah, because he he dodged a bullet. Yeah, she seemed great, dude. So <laughs> Joe Biden was friends with this guy who was dating her. I think married to her. Yeah, they were married. They were married. They did a Gavin Newsom. And then he found out one day that they were having an affair behind his back. They were he did a fundraiser for him. That's the old Gavin Newsom. The guy did it. a fundraiser for Joe Biden. Oh uh, I Gavin Newsom, same thing. What's that? Gavin Newsom, same thing. Same thing. Gavin Newsom fucked his campaign manager's wife. Yeah, he didn't marry her though, right? No. <laughs> These are fantastic people, folks. Joe Biden, I love that guy. He's a great man. Decent. Hey, have you heard about the new flavored air category? It's called flavored air. It's, because, it's, it's the leading alternative to vaping and, and smoking. Have you heard about it? It's a whole new movement toward better habits led by the sponsor of today's video, Fume. Look at this. It's good. It helps you fidget, get your mind off shit. And at least, you hear that? So you sit there and do this all day, or you could do this all day. Whoa, whoa, look at this. Uh, it's an award-winning flavored air device. That's what this is, flavored air device. Flavored air device. It's not a vape. There's no vapor. You can use it anywhere. No nicotine. It's not addictive. No batteries. You'll never need to charge it. Foom fills the void. Ditching a bad habit can leave. You still have something to reach for. Ah, I got something in my fingers. Ooh. Ah, ooh. And uh, you still have something to reach for, and it helps calm anxiety with magnets, snaps, clicks for those who like to fidget. So if you're like a fidgeter, this is good for the fidget. Flavored air isn't like vaping. If if vapor, if vapor was compared to sticky soda, fume cores are closer to herbal teas. Boom has lots of delicious flavors to choose from, like the crisp mint, orange vanilla, and with flavored air. You can satisfy your oral fixation through a passive diffusion system that utilizes no electronics, vapor, or combustion. If you have an oral fixation, uh, Foom has served over 300,000 customers, and you can be the next success story. For a limited time, use my code Jimmy Dore to get your free Fume. You get your free Fume base. This is the base. Look at that, and it stays on. And you just, boo! isn't that wild? Yeah, when you order the Journey Pack, so you get your free fume base when you order the Journey Pack. It's the all-new magnetic stand for your fume device. Head to tryfume.com. That's tryfume.com. That's T-R-Y-F-U-M.com. And use code Jimmy Door or scan the QR code on screen to get your free fume base when you order your Journey Pack today. Fume. Fume. Hey, I'll see you on tour in Las Vegas, Chicago, and Grand Rapids in Chicago. It's stand-up and a live panel show. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets, and make sure you go to JimmyDoor.com.